Okay, so today I'm working on a 2012 Toyota Camry. Um, this one and the Honda Civics are pretty much the same. So uh, what I want to show you is I'm using my uh, my Philips LCs here, and I'm installing them on the high beams. You can do them on the low beams as well, on the low beams if you want. They work really good, but um, this customer wants the HIDs on the high on the low beams, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the LEDs on the high beams. The reason why I'm using LEDs on the high beams is because the high beams on these cars is also a daytime running light. So when you're running around town during the day, um, this light will be on and it's gonna be like a uh, an amber and it puts out like nine volts on a daytime running. When you go to, when you flip on your high beams, it'll get brighter. But when you flip your high beams on, this car uses both low and high beam at the same time when, when you're in high beam. Um, it also has fog lights as well. So. Um, this is something I want to stress when you guys are putting in these LED lights um, you notice that uh, This one has the lines going down. Okay, just like this one. It's it's got the lines and also this one has it going this way as well But particularly the the LED you can see that on the the LED lights are actually facing outwards so one's facing that way and it's gonna be facing down to that side of the housing and the other LED is right there, which is facing to this side of the housing. Hit the high beams. So there's HID and there's LED. And you can tell that the instant on is it really uh, lights up and it's pr pretty bright compared to the HID light. So um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like. This side still has a halogen in it. So you have your halogen here. And then you have an HID here. Okay, so I'm gonna put it into a daytime running light mode so you can see the difference in what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is with the LED on and it's gonna do that to the light. Or the light will do this to the camera sometimes because it's kind of bright. But, um, so the, the LED's on and then here's your, your halogen. So it's a, a little bit different and it's not flickering. The camera's just picking it up like that. I don't know why it's doing that, but the, the camera is kind of weird. But what it's, what it's doing is it's a lower voltage. So this is what your daytime running lights look like normally with a halogen. And this is your, uh, this is with the LED. Hit the high beams so you can see the difference. Go back to the low beam. Let's do this one so you can kind of see the difference here. Go high beam so you can see how it gets brighter. Go low beam. Okay, so it dims out. So the LED will do the same thing. I'll cover this up. High beam. So you can see the high beam gets brighter with the daytime running light on this one. And that's what it's supposed to do. But as I said before, the reflector makes all the difference in the world. So depending on the reflector that is reflecting the LED light, it's going to give you your light output. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's pretty much how we're uh, how we're doing this. Go ahead, shut it off. So I'll go ahead and do the other side, so you can see what I'm talking about and how I install the. Uh, install the LEDs on this one. You ready? So on these ones, this is a 9005 bulb, so it's pretty easy to just uh, twist it out of the housing. You can get to it. You don't have to take anything out on the on the Camrys. Um, and here's your plug. So the factory plug, we're just going to plug in the, uh, the new um, LED into this one. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. So, here's the 9005 LED bulb. Like I, again, like I said, make sure that these are tight. I've had these vibrate loose because out of the package, they're not really tight. Um, you can change the glass to uh, 3000K, which would make it yellow, or you can make it uh, more of a blue, like an 8000K. Um, so, just make sure that you uh, screw this on and make sure it's nice and snug. Um, and these are glass. Don't over-tighten them, and be careful not to drop these. These will break. 
So we're just gonna pop this in, twist it to lock it into place. Now on these ones, you'll notice that there's a dual. So you can take this off, okay? And you'll see four slots on this one. So put it in, you could take this off, stick it into the hole and um, set this in first before you put this in. Now, when you put this in, it makes it to where you can uh, make the LED go up and down or you can make it go side to side. Now in this particular housing, when you see the lines on the inside of it, you can see that they're going downward. So we want the LED to be facing one direction that way and one direction this way. If you had, if those lines were facing the other direction, if they were going this way, okay, then you would want the LED to face up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and then you take your factory connector and just snap it into place. On the uh, Chevys, these are backwards. So on the Chevys, you're gonna put it in on a reverse polarity to where it won't click in, but it'll still stay plugged in. So only on the Chevys, you'll have to do that. Um, pretty much all of them up to uh, 2015. So uh, reverse polarity on the Chevys. Honda Civics um, are all the same as the Camry, so just plug it in and let it click. So now you can see that I got the HIDs on. I have LEDs in the fog lights as well. I don't know if it'll focus in or not. Might be a little too bright for it. So there you go. There you can see um, the bulbs facing side to side and not up and down. So you can see how the reflector reflects the light as soon as you back up here. So you can see how it reflects the, uh, the light out when it's incorrectly. So, um, these are H11s on the uh, Camrys, and then it has the 9006 and 9005. So, um, focus in on that one. So, there you have it. LED high beams, HID low beams, H uh, LED fog lights. Let me get you a full picture here, see this. See, <clears throat> now you can see how bright they are and a pretty good comparison to the HIDs there. So they're just pretty much just as bright as the HIDs on the uh, fog lights. If you have any questions, uh, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.